hey guys welcome back to my channel Indigration usa in this video we're going to talk about work permit and we're going to talk about what to do after you get a work permit so we're going to break it down in this video stay tuned okay guys so what to do after you get a work permit right suppose that you apply for a green card and then while your application is pending the USCIS issue you a work permit, which means that work authorization, EAD, I-765, that's the application that you submit in order to get a work permit. So that work permit will allow you to work and also get a social security number. You can get a driver license and etc. So the work permit is issued by a beneficiary when the beneficiary has a pending application for green card and it's only when you are in the United States. And also, it's sometimes issued to asylum seekers that are waiting for their court date, for example, okay? Asylum applicant will get work permit while they wait for their case to be heard, okay? And you're waiting for your green card to be adjudicated to get a work permit. And sometimes they say with the work permit, you can apply for a travel documentation which is the i-131 so you can travel back and forth to your country while you're waiting for your green card to be adjudicated but sometimes it is not ideal to travel outside the united states because if you travel and then your application is denied then you cannot come back to the u.s so if you have a work permit and you have a travel documentation it depends on the case. Some cases are so complicated. Sometimes they get denied on their absence while the person travel outside. So it's recommended not to go nowhere until you get a decision on your green card application. Sometimes when you apply for work permit, they're going to ask you if you have a social security number and you can check a box that says that they can apply for you. And then your social security number with card will be sent through the mail. But in case you didn't check the box and you don't have no social security number, after you get your work permit, you need to go to the social security office. I would say each county have a local office for social security. That's where you go and apply for the social security. But you must have the physical card of your work permit in order to be able to apply for social security card. And then after you get the social security card, along with the work permit together, you can go look for a job. You can work anywhere you want in the U.S. There's no restrictions. And you can travel within the U.S., take an airplane, for example. You can do that safe way. And also, you can open bank account. You can also obtain a driver license, depending on which state you are. Some of the state, they put a mark that says visitor until the validity of the work permit. Some state don't put anything on it. And um, with the driver license, you know, you can drive. You can learn how to drive. If you don't want to drive, you can get a state ID, which is similar to the driver license. The only difference is that on the card, on the ID card, it's going to say, if it is for an identification only, it's going to say ID card. If it's a driver license, it's going to say driver license. Okay. So you get the driver license. And also you can apply for health insurance, like the state health insurance, you can get that. It opens a lot of doors. So you can get a lot of benefits with a work permit. And sometimes they are valid for five years, depending on the case, depending on the basis of the work permit. Now the USCIS issues a five year work permit because sometimes the green card application takes a long time to be adjudicated. So you get a five year work permit depending on the case. Okay. And then when you work, you're going to pay taxes like everybody else. Right. So if you have a work permit, you want to work on the books. On the books mean that you're going to submit your work permit to your employee along with your social security card and you can work and pay taxes. So you would want to work when you have a work permit. You don't want to work under the table where they only pay cash money. You have to start 
contributing into the society. So you can work, you can get a driver license, you can get a social security card, and you can open a bank account. You're going to live comfortably in this country while you're waiting for your application to be, green card application to be adjudicated. The only thing is that, suppose that the USCIS issue you a five-year work permit, and then from the issuance of the work permit, for example, they give you a five-year work permit, okay? And then one year later, from the date it's been issued, your green card application is denied. Then the work permit dies. It doesn't, it's not valid, no longer valid. Even though it says five years, but once the green card application is denied, the work permit is dead. So that means that it's no longer valid. You cannot even like, you're not supposed to work with it. Okay, you just have to quit the job and say, you know, the work permit is no longer valid. And also, as I mentioned before, if it happens that you are outside the United States with the travel documents, and then now uh, they deny your application while you are outside the US, you cannot come back to the US because the basis of the work permit is dead. So that is very important to understand what the work permit is. So don't make a mistake, start traveling and then thinking that everything is good. You have to make sure that um, your green card application is approved before you start like celebrating. So this is the basis of work permit. Work permit is based on your green card application that's being adjudicated by the USCIS. So while your green card is pending, you get a work permit. And with the work permit, you can work, you can travel within the US, US, you can open a bank account, you can get a driver license, you can get health insurance, you can get many things with that. So that was it guys, it's a short video about work permit. So I thought that I could share it with you. And uh, this is what you do after you get your work permit. So this is the basis of work permit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and smash the notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.